Welcome to HR and Recruiter TV, latest news headlines, brought to you by the Technology in Recruitment Alliance and sponsored by Smart Recruit Online, CB Library and Appsco. In this month's news headlines bulletin, we start with news that the government is set to relax the migration rules on employing engineers from outside of Europe. The industry is severely struggling with a significant skills shortage and this new move may just be what's needed. Kevin Forbes, CEO of Oil & Gas People, welcomes the news, stating that this move was long overdue. He is, however, fearful that this measure may not be enough even in the short term. He said foreign workers will now be able to come to the UK, but they will still be tempted by higher wages in other parts of the world, where skilled staff are also in short supply. Facebook's Chief Operating Officer Sheryl Sandberg has defended Facebook's plans to release new software that will send ads directly to users' smartphones, even when the home screen is locked. The general concern is that users will be flooded with unwanted messages. However, Cheryl states that Facebook's goal is not to increase the number of ads you will receive, but to increase the usefulness of those ads to you. According to firm eMarketer, Facebook generated overall ad revenues of $4.27 billion, a 36% year-on-year increase. The National Association of Pensions Funds has warned that the EU's pensions proposals could increase the UK pension fund deficits to at least £450 billion. The European Commission has proposed the introduction of Solvency II type rules, which will overall increase the funding levels required for pension schemes. Steve Webb, Minister for Pensions, has said that any such rules would be harmful to businesses' ability to invest, grow and create jobs and many more schemes could be forced to close as a consequence. It has been identified that there was a massive blunder in the theories that Chancellor George Osborne has based his deficit-cutting policies on. A simple mistake in an Excel spreadsheet suggested that countries with 90% debt ratios would see their economy shrink by 0.1%. But in fact, the correct figures show that they would in fact grow by 2.2%. This would still be less than countries with lower debt ratios, but would not completely collapse like previously indicated. Economists in the Massachusetts who found the mistake questioned why a generic Excel spreadsheet would be used to carry out such groundbreaking research. In fact, according to the European Spreadsheet Risk Group, yes, that's right, there is apparently a dedicated risk group for Excel spreadsheets, spreadsheets were responsible for the collapse of the Jamaican banking system back in the late 1990s. According to the government's Scottish Affairs Committee, construction firms that were involved in the blacklisting of workers are still continuing to avert full responsibility for their actions. The list was compiled in breach of the Data Protection Act and included gossip and hearsay on individuals. Ian Davidson, MP Chair of the committee, said, We are appalled by what we have discovered, and went on to say that the consulting association who created the list was an organised conspiracy to discriminate against workers who raised legitimate grievances over health and safety and other industrial issues. Human rights group Child Soldiers International and Forces Watch says the practice of recruiting 16-year-olds into the army is outdated and a waste of money. Figures from a report presented to Parliament in 2011 reveal that it is costing the Ministry of Defence twice as much to train 16-year-olds than it does adults. It is estimated it costs over £42,000 to recruit, train and pay a new adult, yet it costs around £89,000 to do the same for a new recruit aged 16 to 17. A new lifestyle study conducted by Travelodge has found that 72% of British workers are giving their bosses an extra 10 hours of free labour every week, translating to around £142 billion of free labour. Londoners have found to be the biggest workaholics with them giving an average 12 hours extra free labour a week. CV Library have exceeded all expectations recently by growing their database by another 1 million CVs to over 6 million candidates and showing no signs of stopping. Lee Biggings, Managing Director of CV Library, said, The size and growth of our CV database clearly demonstrate that job boards are still the number one way to find jobs within the UK. Well, that's all from me this month. If you enjoyed watching Recruiter TV, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to watch our Back to Work Bulletin. I'm Kirsty Nichols, speaking for Recruiter TV, brought to you by the Recruitment in Technology Alliance and sponsored by Smart Recruit Online, CV Library and Appsco.